Assalamu alaikum. Students, how are you? I think you are in good condition at your home with your family. Okay, today I will discuss your statistics part in class 9 exercise 17. You know statistics is an applied mathematics. Okay, so I today I will discuss how to find out the arithmetic mean. We can get arithmetic mean by shortcut method and usual method. You know the arithmetic mean is sum of the observation divided by the number of observation. Today we will calculate how to find out the arithmetic mean in shortcut method. You know I will solve a math of discrete variable in shortcut method. In shortcut method the formula of arithmetic mean equal to a plus summation ui by n where ui equal to xi minus a. What is xi? xi are the discrete values or variable which is given. These are xi. And what is a? This is new thing for you. A is assume mean or approximated mean. Assume mean or approximated mean. So what is assume mean? You can let any value of this as a. Better to take the middle one. Better to take the middle one. Here five rows are given so it is very easy to take the middle one this one is the middle one and middle one values of xi is 40 here we can we let 40 as a so if six values are given then what will i take you know the six divided by two is three that is third value Okay, you will take the third or fourth value, any value you can take as a. So in this example, you will take 40 equal to a. Now, u i equal to x i minus a, x i minus a. These are x i. This is a. That is very easy to find out x i minus a. 30 minus 40 minus 10. 35 minus 40 minus 5 40 minus 40 0 46 minus 40 1 50 minus 40 10 okay by this way we will get the ui these are the ui u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 now you add all these three and this is called summation ui summation is sum of all these three summation ui equal to minus 4. Now you put the values in the formula of arithmetic mean. Equal a equal a plus sum of ui by n. a equal to 40 and summation of ui equal to minus 4. What is n? How many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. That is n equal to 5. So minus 4 by 5 equal to 0.8. That is 40 minus 0.8 equal to 39.2 understood so this 39.2 is the arithmetic mean you see here 40 nearest 40 39.2 middle one so 39.2 is the arithmetic mean students you should note that there is no class there is no class this is this speed variable so there is no h there is no h here in sometimes in the in our next formula you will get 
H or C as as the product but here there is no H because it is there is no there is no class interval so you should make sure that in this formula there is no H okay thank you Good. now I will give you another example of discrete variable our previous mass that was also discrete variable but there is no frequency that is numbers are not repeated number are not repeated that one is not the tabulated value that was the discrete value raw data now i will give, give you an example of tabulated value or discrete data with corresponding frequencies that is here 30 or 2 times 40 or 5 times 50 or 10 times that is the times these are the frequency corresponding frequency that is 30 frequency 2 40 frequency 5 these are the values of x and these are fi frequency is denoted by fi now i will solve this mass okay these are the values of xi as i told earlier this is the values of xi this is the values of fi the number of students the values of fi that is frequency now like our previous mass you should take the as you mean as you mean is denoted by a how many rows are there one two three four five so middle one is a like our previous one middle one is a now ui equal to xi minus a ui equal to xi minus a that is these are xi 30 minus 50 minus 20 40 minus 50 minus 10 50 minus 50 0 50 minus 50 5 60 minus 50 10 so we have got the ui that is u1 u2 u3 u4 and u5 okay now fi ui fi ui these are ui these are fi so fi ui product of this and this column that is 2 into minus 20 minus 40 5 into minus 10 minus 50 10 into 0 0 5 into 5 25 3 into 10 30 now like our previous math you add all these things you add all these things okay that is summation fi ui equal to minus 35 now you put the values in formula formula is a plus summation fi ui by n a plus summation fi ui by n only addition is fi in our previous match there is no fi here fi is given because in our mass in our question frequencies are given that's why the formula is something change a plus summation fi ui by n now you put the values a is as you mean which is 50 summation fi ui minus 35 and n equal to how, total number of frequencies in our previous mass and uh, there is no frequency that is only number of rows or number of values are n now here n equal to total number of frequencies mind it in our previous mass and only five values are given that's why n is five here five values is not given here 25 values is given total number of frequencies is 25 25 values are given so n equal to 25 so you put n equal to 25 so 35 minus 20 35 divided by 25 1.4 it is plus and minus and minus 50 minus 1.4 48.6 so the arithmetic mean is 48.6 in shortcut method okay i think you have understood it now i would like to discuss another mass and this type of mass is very important in our previous year 
in the final exam that is in your SCC exam most of the time this type of mass were set in your exam it's also may be set in your exam this is very important mass that is you we will find out the arithmetic mean in classified data classified data or group data in case of group data the class interval is given okay what is the class interval here 30 to 39 10 40 to 49 10 50 to 59 10 there are some gap also in some mass you may get that 30 to 40 again 40 to 50 that one is exclusive class interval and this is inclusive class interval it doesn't matter inclusive and exclusive it doesn't matter the way is same okay so here class interval and number of corresponding frequencies are given in your mass class interval and corresponding frequencies are given only okay then you will find out the arithmetic mean in short card method you know the arithmetic mean of shortcut method is a plus summation fi ui by n into h a equal to a is noted as as you mean like our previous mass and ui is ui is xi minus a by h xi minus a by h a you know the as you mean h is class interval this is new thing for you here so h is class interval so what is class interval 30 to 39 you counting 30 to 39 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 that is 10 that is 10 class interval is 10 in inclusive method you will count including 30 and 39 both are counted okay so class interval is 10 in this is equal class interval here in all cases class interval is 10 so h is 10 so now you will let or assume a what before taking a here this is continuous class interval so what will be x we don't know that's why to find out x we have a formula what is this you will add the lower limit and upper limit of same classes lower limit is 30 upper limit is 39 30 plus 39 is 69 69 divided by 2 that is 34.5 same cases 40 plus 49 89 89 divided by 2 44.5 or you know the class interval is 10 that's why you will add 10 in each cases that is 34.5 plus 10 44.5 plus 10 54.5 plus 10 64.5 plus 10 74.5 okay by this way we will get the value of xi so after finding xi we will calculate our like our previous mass you will let the value of a a is here 54.5 a is here 54.5 is a okay now xi minus a 54 xi minus a that is 34.5 minus 54.5 34.5 minus 54.5 this is minus 20 minus 20 divided by h s is 10 minus 20 divided by 10 that is minus 2 like 44.5 minus 54.5 that is 
minus 10. Minus 10 divided by 10 minus 1. 54.5 minus 54.5, 0. 0 by 10, that is 10. But like this, you will get these values. Okay? Now, this is ui. Now, fi and ui. 2 to the 4, minus 4. 5 minus 1 into minus 1, minus 5. 10 into 0, 0. 5 into 1, 5. 3 into 2, 6. Now, you add all these things. Like our previous mass, summation f i u i 6 plus 5, 11, and 5 and 4, 9. That is 11 minus 9, 2. So now we put the values of a, a equal to 54.5, uh, summation f i u i equal to 2, and n equal to total number of frequencies 25 into 10, h value of 10. Okay, then we get the 54.5 plus 0.8, that is 55.3. So this is the arithmetic mean in case of short card method of classified data. So that's all. Thank you everybody. If you arise any problem or any doubt, you can contact me or you can comment. Uh, inshallah, I will give you the proper answer or I will make you easy. Mind it, the last example which I have given, these are very, very important for you. Thank you. Okay.